there are several very good reasons why some customers decide to run Curator on their VMware. And probably the number one reason and why some companies have the policy of deploying as much in VMware as possible is to avoid hardware underutilization. The idea is if I if I have pieces of CPU memory and disk D that are not used on their VMware, those resources can be shared more effectively and therefore uh, utilize your, your hardware resources better. The second reason is scalability. If I need more deploy a new appliance, uh, uh, it's actually a lot easier to do it virtually than physically racking up another another uh, physical appliance. One more reason is it's dealing with backup and the overall management of it is done by a separate group so I don't have to worry about it. About it. Another reason could be the fact that uh, in some companies procuring new hardware can, t can be difficult uh, versus you know I have uh, cap uh, capacity on my ESX servers and I can deploy them uh, easier and, and, and faster and I don't have to procure anything or, or, or go deal with purchase orders or approval stuff like that. Yet one more reason could be ease of recovery. Uh, you know if I have a hardware failure on, on my ESX infrastructure it's a lot easier to deal with that and take that component apart than, than if I if I have a failure a major failure on a single appliance. But let us review this hardware utilization uh, in lieu of curator appliances. A curator appliance, the war on the utilization doesn't normally go along with it because an event processor, the flow processor console, uh, typically can handle 80,000 events per second or 3.6 million flows per minute. So what these really requires is a tremendous amount for all that you know traffic that is being analyzed of IOPS. Uh, so let's take a look at the specific characteristics of a, a modern uh, curator appliance like the SX48 uh, uh, series. I do not know how many cores or processors are uh, exist in a, an SX48 48, it should be, you know, maybe 24 or so. But I know that it requires 128 gigabyte of RAM, requires 10,000 IOPS, 2,000 megabits per second in terms of bandwidth and SSD storage. So these are beefy machine, and it's not that on a peak time, you know, they, they, they use these resources. It's constantly because of the amount of traffic that is analyzing is actually using those resources. So when you go to your VMware administrator and you ask for a, for a, for a virtual machine of these you know, characteristics, he may start wondering, why, what are you doing drinking on the job? I mean, that, that's, that's ridiculous uh, to ask for it. And then if you get a machine that doesn't have this requirement, you start to uh, having some uh, curator performance uh, issues. Let's see what is in today's world a better alternative for that. QRock is a fully dedicated set of curator infrastructure on the cloud for you. This is not shared. This is again for for uh, one company only, uh, and you connect it to your infrastructure by virtue of a device called Data Gateway that, by the way, can be virtual or physical. Uh, and this particular device connects to your intranet and pulls all the logs and flows from it uh, and gives you the same advantages of scalability that you have uh, with your VMware environment, in fact, even more so because this is hosted in soft layers. So the, as long as you can afford it, the capacity is uh, as big as you want to have it. Uh, and in, in, in case that you wonder, the data is encrypted both in transit and at address. So there's no, you know, issues with it. 
but a couple of advantages that it has is that in this link that is used to communicate with the cloud, the appliance, the data gateway appliance, implements compression, typically a 10 to 1 compression. So the, the bandwidth usage is, 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 is very efficient. But also, imagine that, I don't know if you implement in your environment HA or DR, but that multiplies the number of appliances and you know it, it's another thing to manage. Well, these folks at QRock already have HA, HA and DR as part of their offering, actually. And it's also offered in terms of events per second and uh, days of uh, retention. That's the metric they use for charging for that. What I really like about this approach is that imagine that you don't have to ever worry again for patching your curator infrastructure. That is something that you know you need to know how to do it, when to do it. You know, hey, you know, need to stay late on a particular day or come on a weekend to do it. More so migrations. Let's say that you know you you, you have the latest version of of curator you want to have it deploy and you need to migrate. Well, that that's something that you need to plan carefully. Not so in QRock because they take care of it. So when you are thinking of, of deploying QReader on a on a VMware environment, give a, a, a consideration to the QRock, or ask for a for a proof of concept or you know, get, get more familiar with it because it can be a better alternative for some companies.